Many, many years ago, a young girl lived with her parents in a small stone cottage in the Welsh countryside. We're not really sure what happened, although legend has it that Mary Jones longed for a copy of the Bible, but could not get one. The story goes something like this. Mary's father was a weaver who worked hard to support his family, and although they didn't have much, they were happy. Mary was a good girl. She did her share of the household chores without grumbling. She fed the chickens, cooked, scrubbed the floors, and helped keep the house tidy. She even helped outdoors when she was needed. On Sunday mornings, Mary and her parents, dressed in their Sunday best, walked to the little chapel in the village two miles away. There the family sat and listened to the wonderful words shared from the Bible. Mary marvelled at this book and longed for a copy of her own. As the months passed, Mary's longing for a Bible increased. I must have a Bible. I must have a Bible, she begged her parents. But her father explained gently, Mary, you know Bibles are expensive, and your mother and I haven't much money. Mary did know that, and so she was going to save up for one, no matter how long it took. I'll do jobs for other people. I'll save all my pennies. I'll do anything just to have my own Bible, she thought. And that's exactly what Mary did. For six long years she saved all she could until the day came when she had enough money to buy a Bible. She went to tell her parents and then they all told her teacher what she'd done. He explained that there was a man in a town called Bala who had a number of Bibles. Mary, now 15, told her parents that she was going to walk to Bala. Her father protested, Mary, that's nearly 25 miles away. But there was no changing Mary's mind. She'd waited too long for that. So, with her purse of money and some bread and cheese tied up in a bundle, she set off. The journey to Bala seemed endless. Mary followed many paths, crossed valleys and streams, and found her way around hills. Her weariness grew, and her aching limbs seemed almost too much to bear. But the thought of owning her very own copy of scriptures spurred her on. Eventually, she came to the brow of a hill, from which she could see the edge of a town Dusk was falling, and candlelight had begun to flicker in cottage windows. Mary's heart pounded with excitement. Here was Bala at last! Mary had been told to find a well-to-do gentleman called Mr. Charles. After knocking on several doors and asking for directions, she found his house. She ran up the garden path and knocked loudly on the large oak door. As it opened, the words tumbled out. I'm Mary Jones. I've walked 25 miles to get here. I've saved up six years to buy a Bible. I've got the money here. You can count it if you like. Please can I have a Bible? Mr. Charles was taken aback. You'd better come in and tell me all about it. But first, you must have something to eat. He smiled kindly and beckoned the housekeeper to take her into the kitchen, where she was given food and shown the Bible. After she'd eaten, she told Mr. Charles everything, and he was greatly moved by all she had done. You are fortunate, he said, holding up the Bible. This is the last one. Mary stared at the Bible for a long time before taking it into her hands and thanking him with all her heart. When Mary arrived back to her own village, many people were there waving and cheering, wanting to see her Bible. As she held up the book for all to see, 
she murmured a few quiet words. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles had watched the young girl until she had disappeared over the hill. As he returned to his study, he thought of all the other Mary Joneses who must be wanting Bibles. Not only in Wales, but in England and Scotland, Ireland and many other distant lands. Soon after Mary's visit, Thomas Charles went to London to speak to some very important people. Because of people like Mary Jones, some of Mr. Charles's friends eventually helped form the British and Foreign Bible Society. This society helped boys and girls and grown-ups here in this country and far-off lands to get their very own copy of God's Word, the Bible. And the society is still doing that nearly 200 years later.